Tony Fitzgerald has accused the Queensland government of chasing redneck support. But the Premier is unbowed, even comparing his crackdown on bikies to the work of the former corruption commissioner. Meanwhile, a Supreme Court judge halted an alleged bikies bail review hearing because of public comments made by Campbell Newman. The state government's crackdown on bikies has hit a legal snag. Public comments made by the Premier about the judiciary has prompted a Supreme Court judge to halt a further bail hearing. Justice George Freiberg said... There is, to my mind, a very real risk that members of the public would perceive a result in favour of the Crown as having been influenced by the Premier's statements. It's a public perception that Justice Freiberg said would damage the independence of the judicial arm and affect the institutional integrity of the court. The Premier upped the ante in the bikey crackdown by comparing his government's actions with Tony Fitzgerald's landmark corruption inquiry. And I say with great sadness and concern that we have a similar situation today. Not in government, not in public administration, but with criminal gang activity in our state. So too will the people of Queensland in the next 25 years reflect on the last few weeks. Later, the Premier went further, saying the threat of crime is worse today than it was pre-Fitzgerald. Oh, undoubtedly it's far worse in my view. But it did him no good. The corruption fighter blasted the laws and accused the Premier of treating the public like fools. It is astonishingly short-sighted for a government to attack the judiciary in a bid to foster redneck support. The administration of criminal justice is not a political plaything or a suitable area for political grandstanding. The bikey-related cases keep rolling in. In the magistrate's court, two alleged associates of the Finks Motorcycle Club were given bail after being summoned from South Australia on drug trafficking charges. They're uh, being as cooperative as possible and them being here today and answering the summons is indicative of how cooperative they are. Caught in the crossfire of a legal standoff. Francine Norton, ABC News, Brisbane.